Could you give a word or two on the difficulty faced in maintaining the silence? You cannot maintain the silence. It has to come and go on its own. You cannot maintain it. The moment you try to maintain it, there is a conflict. When it comes, enjoy it. Live with it. When it goes, leave it. Don't even try to hold it. However miserable one is about it. That misery is what is called love. What is love really in that sense of the term? Separation. When your beloved is with you, what love will you do? When, she's, when the beloved is not there, the mind pining for it, that is called love. It's in pain. But it enjoys that pain in a way. Why, some, why do people enjoy sometimes in the evening sitting with a small glass in their hand, listening to Saigal singing, My Margaya, you know? <laughs> no, what is this? That means they are enjoying that pain. So, when it comes, be with it. When it goes, leave it. Let it go. It is not something which we can control. Really, we cannot. So, all we see around us is just it. But all, whatever we see around us is just it. It. Some form of it. It. Don't even think of forms, please. There is no difference between form and non-form here. The, the very energy that is going around here, the wind, the earth, the moving of the plants, the energy with which the plant grows and becomes, all this is part of that. You cannot really differentiate and say, this is this. But when you stay with it, if sometime when we are quiet and that stillness strikes, not speaks, it is a wrong word, stillness can never speak. <laughs> How can it speak? It's a contradiction. <laughs> so, when it strikes, <laughs> let's say, then you are in it. When it goes, you can do nothing about it. To understand that you can do nothing about it is the humility and worship. And say, please come, I can do nothing about it. You're done. <laughs>